Hello there, if you are new to this series, or you simply missed last episode, I highly recommend you hover on your screen right now, note that you do need annotations on, to locate the eye wherever it is, it's usually at the top right of the screen, but YouTube says it can be anywhere, to pull up the cards menu and get caught up by clicking either link as to whatever it is you missed, whether it's the series or just last episode. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy today's episode. Hello everybody, my name is Damon, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke. You're probably wondering what we're doing in Jasmine's gym right now. Well, if you looked at the beginning of this video, you probably saw the little title card thing explaining that. But basically, for whatever reason, even though I saved in the episode, episode 20, as you probably saw in the episode itself, obviously, I saved right in front of Jasmine. And I'm pretty sure the episode I saved afterwards, after we did the whole Spiritomb thing, when I loaded my save, as you saw, or maybe you did see if you went to the end of this video and looked at that uh, whole sequence there that I'll be explaining in just a second. Uh, when I loaded up my save, none of that happened. Episode 20 did not occur for some reason, even though I saved multiple times. I tried, like, restoring my computer, etc, etc, so I wouldn't have to redo everything and make it look all awkward like it is right now. But in the end, I had to redo this entire battle. It ended out slightly different than before uh because for whatever reason the magneton i guess was just stupid the first time this time it used electro magnetism or whatever so my dig had no effect so i had to go out to uh vince and use fire blast on that and then i had to go into gerudo and do the whole dig thing on steelix also apparently like every single one of them had earthquake and just didn't want to use that i guess it wasn't very effective or it was just it was normal effective on uh on gerudo that was the little metang or whatever decided to use it. Why did the music just restart? I don't know. Either way, if you look at the end of the video, you can see what happened. Just I just wanted to re-record that battle just in case you guys were thinking I was cheating or whatever since this is happening more frequently, whatever. I don't know what's wrong with this meme, but, or you know, my save states or whatever, but yeah. Uh, I also didn't do the, uh, the uh, Pokemon Safari thing because... That, there was just no point in that. That was completely useless from the start. We didn't, however, buy any items. Uh, or get my items here. From the... Yeah, and there's a choice scarf and everything else. So, I actually learned how to actually correctly get Spiritomb, as it were. Uh, figured out that we didn't need strength this entire time. This entire time. Did not need strength at all. Not a single bit strength was required. Uh, let's buy two of these. Uh, I set my time back to normal. Uh, I was actually planning on doing this during the daytime. That's what I was going to record. But then I looked at my... Uh, maybe that's why. Maybe me changing my time clock affected my save somehow. Even though I changed it back. I don't know. Uh, but basically, I had just uh, loaded up my game. I was going to do it in daylight just so we would have variety. But I didn't do that now. I could probably do that right now, actually. Let me go into my time... Thankfully, the music doesn't stop. Let me just change that. Okay. And we're in daytime. And Liz wants to call us. Oh, hey. Good afternoon. What's up? This is Liz. Hi, Tania. How are you? This is Liz. I'm fine, but I'm bored at city. Huh? Oh, wrong number. Oops, sorry. Yes, because I must have so many other numbers. Uh, I... So many other numbers similar to mine. I don't even know what my number is. Like, I, I can't tell. There's a freaking. There's those guys over there. Let's change to that. Sure, contest, whatever. Either way, yeah, we're in the daytime. We're actually going to be going over to catch. Or try and catch actual Spiritomb this time. Uh, did not work last time. Or any of the other times. Because I did not know how to do it. And I thought I needed strength. I also didn't go and do the whole Spiritomb thing down there. Or the well thing. Talk to that random guy. Because we didn't really get anything there. I also didn't go and get the escape rope from uh, next to Mount Mortar or Blaze or whatever, whatever you want to call it. But apparently, in order to do this, uh, first of all, where is Atsuko? Because Atsuko has the Thunder Wave that I'm going to be needing, hopefully. But apparently, you don't go inside the well, you just step up here. Well, 
Not like that, but... Okay, okay, we step up here. And you want to throw the odd keystone into the wall. I don't know how I was supposed to know that, but yes, I want to throw it in. I threw the odd keystone in the well. Magic. Eula. And out comes the mystic being. That is the wild spirit too, level 20. Would have been nice to get you like 30 parts ago. So, uh, can't do much here. I'm just going to throw something at you and hope for the best. Oh, hey, I had one disc ball. Too bad it's during the day now. That would have been great, right? If we were in the cave, it'd probably be good. Oh, hey, we caught you with two ultra balls. Wow. Okay, we now have the forbidden Pokemon, Spirit Tomb, the Ghost Dark Type. It was formed by uniting 108 spirits. It has been bound to the odd keystone to keep it from doing any mischief. That's kind of spooky. 108 ghosts are in this thing. Hmm. Give me a second, I guess. Okay, so I am going to be calling this Spirit Tomb... Which is, uh, it's also weird, the spirit tomb is a male, I guess the, m there was more male spirits than female spirits in this thing. I'm going to be calling this guy here, Jiba, uh, is it, yeah, Jiba Joppa, Jiba Joppa. And we will just call him JJ for short, but we'll, we'll, we'll spell out his full name here, because we're cool like that. Jiba Joppa, which... Those two things do not have anything to do with each other, but apparently he is based off of two possible things. The first one is Spirit Tomb is based on a Jiba Kure, uh, Kure, or whatever, a spirit bound to a single place, uh, and etc, etc. Uh, the wisps of spirits surrounding its face also resemble a set of prayer beads, a possible reference to Japa. I don't know what either of those two things, well, I know what the first thing is because it gave a definition. I don't know what Japa is. What's Japa? Uh... What is Joppa? It's a meditative repetition of mantra. Those are Joppa beads. Okay. Well, you will be forever known as Jeepa Joppa. So, enjoy that, JJ. You're level 20, so I don't know if we'll be really using you, but... Now we can actually start the episode. Oh boy. Uh, where is... We're up here, right? And now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and get out, uh... Get out, uh, Apatos. Which is, well... Uh, this is gonna suck, because we're actually going into Mount Mortar. Or Mount Blaze, I think it was Mount Mortar that I just said. Now let's look at you for a second. Shadow Sneak, Faint Attack, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. Not the worst things in the world. Move sets, that is. Uh, but I'm going to be taking Apatos, even though we're going into a place full of fire, because I was trying to use Apatos last episode, but then we ran into the Jasmine, who's apparently a Steel-type trainer. That's kind of... Where I thought she was going to be water type, but hey, Nintendo does weird things. Sorry, I fixed my mic as usual because it bugs me. I have OCD, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't gotten that tested. I don't know if there is a test. If there is, well, I don't know of it. I don't know if I got any encounters last episode. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I ran to this guy. Yep, gave me the uh, strength I needed. Yeah, and that's why we went to the, the thing last episode. Yeah, I remember. I remember things, because I'm smart. We should probably get a Pato's in the front, but I want a go out here so we can catch something if need be. Also, I don't think... Did we catch something around 42 last episode? Maybe we did, I don't remember. Whatever, Mount Mortar, here we go. After we get a single encounter, I will put on the Repel, because I don't want to fight anything in here, except for the trainers, maybe. I'll probably save them for a grinding montage as well. I don't know the way through here. I hope you all know this. I don't even know if we have to go, well obviously we have to go through here, but first encounter is a Graveler. Dupe's Claws, we had a Geodude. Uh, by, er, Species Claws as it were, if you don't know what that means. We already caught a Geodude once, which means we can re-roll that Graveler, because, you know, species variety that is. Still Graveler. Don't want. I think we're, well that's new. I can't electrify you though. Huh. So I'm going to go into Apatos here and try not die. Try not die. Try not die, Apatos. Try not die. Try not die to this thing. It would be most appreciated. I'm just going to throw some great balls at it. Thank you, my horn. Not bad. 
It is inept at turning because of its four short legs. It can only charge and run in one direction. Spikes, Pokemon. I will call you BB. Short for Bullet Bill, because you only go one direction. And I, I, I've wasted all my creativity on JJ right for now. Even though it wasn't that creative, I just combined two different things. Right, uh, let us put the repel on for now, even though I don't think we'll be in here for that long, because I literally just saw the exit, or at least one of the exits. I don't know how far this thing goes, if there's any more to it, but I want this item right now. I really do. I really, really want this item. And I think I taught strength to Apatos last episode. I'm pretty sure I did. Where is strength? I would not like to give it to Itsuko. I would like to give it to Apatos. Because Apatos... Does not need bold seed at all. Which I don't think so. Hope not. If you do, well, that's kind of too bad. And what is this one item that I'm so in turn on getting? A dusk stone. Um, don't remember who that's for. Maybe that's for Honchcrow. I want to say that's for Honchcrow. I don't know who else uses that. I was gonna say maybe the. Uh, Sneeze onto Weavile, but I think Sneeze or Weavile is a trade with like the Razor Claw or the Quick. Maybe it is the Quick Claw, I don't know. But holding that and then trading, I'm pretty sure it gives you Weavile. Uh, we're just collecting some items right now. I realize it's very, very interesting. So interesting that this should be a grinding montage and I should just go out that exit I saw and hope that is the way out. And we're already out of Repel. We have round eight more. That's going to go well. I should sell that Lagging Tail. We also got the upgrade last episode or two episodes ago, or whatever, for a Porygon if we ever get one. I remember that from Pokemon Black, or True Randomizers and Nuzlocke, that was my first series anyways. A Porygon that had, I think it was Horn Attack, or Horn Leech or whatever. It was not fun going against that, because I had my I had my Elekid that was a, uh, a Water Rock type. It was interesting that I have this lagging tail, because uh, when Elekid evolved into Electabuzz, uh, she, she, it was a she, uh, got stall, or, I think it was stall, one of the, it was the ability that makes it so you have to go last pretty much all the time, and it was absolutely awful because one of, uh, her best, I think it was a her anyways, one of her best stats, thank you for the item, one of her best stats was speed, but the stall thing kind of nullified that, and I never found an electrolyzer, I found the, uh, Riperizer, whatever, to make Riperior, which maybe we could find this game, if that's a thing, because, hey, we have Rhyhorn, why not? Now, let's leave. First, not losing this time. I never fought you. Strength is not a Rock-type move. Good to know. And you disabled it. Uh, thanks. Aren't you a... Huh. I don't know what type you are. Apparently you died. Did you kill yourself? I don't I don't know. I could not tell. I want to go into Mallory to use close combat, but I don't feel like that'll go well. Uh Patos. You can't poison them. That did damage. Clearly. Okay, just just don't don't do the magnetism thing. Yeah, don't don't do that. Don't be smart. I don't even know if you have that. I hope you don't. Or, I hope you did, so that you look stupid for not using it. Back in Mount Mortar. I'm guessing these are all just for items, like a revive that I don't need. I'm pretty sure I still have a revive that I didn't sell, because I didn't sell things this episode, because last episode never happened. Are we out of here yet? Because this is just awkward. Thank you. I guess we'll be back when we have Rock Climb or something. And, uh, we, we just fought the, the guy similar to this. Uh, he had a Kangaskhan, not a Needle Queen, but similar enough, I guess. We'll just Giga Drain the heck out of you, and hopefully you don't stomp or double kick or whatever it is you do. And then we go back to Slowbro, who I could also Giga Drain. And Rock or Strength. I'm getting cocky, but that's okay. So this is Rough 42 as well. Huh. I could have just swam over the thing. You know? I'm pretty sure I could have. Yeah, let's see your power with a quillfish that I will go into a Tsuko for. That hurt, even though there was nothing to get revenge over. 
And then we have artillery who died as well. Well, trying to be the ultimate trainer, sure, I'll get your stupid number, whatever. Yep, thank you, sir. I don't care for this fella. Too bad we have to fight him. Sorry, interruptions. Um, I, I killed the last thing with a good drain. I don't know what it was. Uh, what do we do against a fortress? Don't exactly have my, uh, you know, yeah, my, you know, my fire type. Hopefully you don't explode. That'd be bad. I'm just gonna hit you with things and hope they work. Just lower your defense over and over again, and you'll eventually die. And I can do it again, because you're a rock type. I don't need to escape, okay? Because you're dead. Yet you lost, and now I can finally get this item. The ob, 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 babe, or, Causes a certain species of Pokemon to evolve. Maybe that's for... No, I was gonna say... Maybe, I was gonna say, maybe that's for Espeon? What do you have to say, old man? You have to see Gyarados Rampage at the lake. Well, of course. That's a main show, right? Hello, old man with a Poliwhirl. You wanna give me that Poliwhirl or Poliwrath or whatever that is? I'll take it. Oh. I mean, I already have one of those, but thanks. I'll take it. Team Rocket came back. Oh, right. They were the ones that, like, forcefully fall evolved that thing, right? Maybe? What do you say, man? You seen this guy with the black cape? He's been going back and forth between here and the Lake of Rage, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. Who is he? Who is he, I wonder? You don't know who that is? I know who that is, but you don't know who that is. Just to... I wonder where those strange radio waves could be coming from. Give me a second. Okay, I was just checking how long I've been recording it. Has it, it has actually been a little bit. Oh, you two look familiar. Hey, Annika, let's go. We should totally have a smoking up battle sometime. It's good to see you again, Hanako. Now that you're here, I can finally give you that reward I promised for helping us to defeat Team Rocket. Oh, your party is full. I can't give you my gift in that case. In that case, I shall go free it up. Anyways, yeah, I guess next episode when we get back, we will go ahead and check out that uh, totally non-suspicious souvenir shop. Uh, grab some knickknacks, as it were, for my Pokemon, and maybe this new party member. Maybe you guys can name this new party member, and I, I don't think so. I won't have time to do that. Uh, but we'll check out the souvenir shop. And I guess go... No. I I guess I, I can't leave without buying something, because that guy's a dick. But we'll be doing that and checking out the Lake of Rage and checking out that man with a black cape. Uh, we can get a Riolo egg. Fantastic. Don't really care that much, but I guess we'll name it at some point. Maybe you guys could name it then. Either way, that'll be all for next time. I apologize that this episode wasn't filled with too much excitement. I am a bit tired over having to redo that entire episode, but, 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 regardless, thank you guys for, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. I know this outro also sucked, but what are you going to do? Goodbye.